seconds, uh, Nikhil Lakwani brings you a report from the proposed land to be made as mini stadium in the native village of Mohammed Shami. This is Amroha. Have a look. So we are currently reporting from a piece of land which has been proposed to be made as a mini stadium and also a gymnasium as well. This is being seen as an effort to encourage more and more number of young people towards the field of cricket and other games as well. Currently we are reporting from the hometown of Mohammed Shami. This is the same place, same native place of Mohammed Shami who is currently on a roll taking back to back wickets in support of Team India and this is a news which is of the interest for those people who are a part of this particular district. So as per the further details which we have been given to us as a part uh, and also as a series of 20 mini uh, stadiums to be made in the different districts of UP, one is being made in the hometown of Mohammed Shami. This is also being seen as uh, after the performance by Mohammed Shami in the semi-final where he had taken back to back seven wickets out of which the Team India was able to win the match with a decent margin. Also, furthermore, what we have been given to understand is that the officials from the UP government and the local administration as well, they have inspected this piece of land. And further, what uh, we do know is that once Mohammed Shami arrives, he will be given a grand welcome in his native village. With camera person Naveen Mansal Nikhil Lakhwani for CNN News 18. Sir, jab, uh, so, we speak to you and understand you worked with. Most of these uh, men who are part of the team blue who will be representing us tomorrow, uh, if you could, you know, try and recollect the form that they were in, the fact that, you know, we've come so far, if you could explain to us briefly about it. Well, I think it's firstly very heartening to see India play the way they've been playing, um, you know, at the start of the World Cup. Everyone sort of, uh, you know, were, were kind of thinking about how this Indian team is going to go about things, especially with so many cricketers coming back from injuries and you know, Shreya, Skir, Rahul been out for a while, Hardik Panda coming back from a back injury, uh, Rohit Sharma's fitness. So there were so many questions coming in just to see the way the Indian team has batted and played over these past 10 games so far and played the perfect 10 so far. We're all just hoping that India can uh, go one step further and make it a perfect 11 to win this World Cup. The most well-oiled Indian team, yes, in 2011 India didn't, did win the World Cup, but I feel the way this team is uh, playing this World Cup, if they end up winning, I think it will be something that every Indian will remember for the rest of their lives. The strongest one is 2011 when we were sitting and watching a game of the World Cup and he said, uh, I remember him saying that, Nair khel na yaar. What time to select one eta, but I think his mindset was I have to play this and I remember uh, at that point working really hard towards the IPL where he tried to lose weight, get fit uh, and you know he's since then come back into the Indian team and never looked back. So I think the only thought that comes to me is 2011 World Cup, uh, Rohit Sharma and I are sitting and watching the World Cup and hopefully this 2023 World Cup Rohit Sharma will have that cup in his hand as captain of India. India will win the World Cup. They, they will start as favourites in the in the final. They played uh, outstandingly well, and uh, they don't have to do anything different. They just have to carry on from where they left in the uh, last few games. And the good thing is, you know, this team doesn't depend on one or two players. You know, there have been eight or nine players performing game after game, so that's a brilliant sign. Reaching the World Cup final is a tremendous achievement. Um, something that doesn't happen often, and. We've got um, two teams that are playing in it that have performed extremely well uh, so far. Obviously, uh, the way the Indians have been playing is, um, has been pretty special, um, so they'll be a tough team to beat. I think the Australians obviously have a lot of t talent, a lot of impact players that can make a big difference in the game. Um, I think they'll probably need to improve their middle order batting for maybe 10 or 20 percent to be a realistic chance of winning the World Cup final so you know obviously India are the clear favourites but um, you know the potential for Australia to win the World Cup is also there. India unbeatable, unbeatable India right now Jesse Khelrai so it's uh, amazing and also bowling department fielding department also uh, batting department, you know department may and uh, beatable hai aur jo 2003 mein jo saurabh ganguly har gaya tha final aur ek revenge bhi bol sakte ho abhi ahmedabad mein 19 tarikh ko pura desh 
भारत को सपोर्ट करेगा और हम लोग ट्रॉफी जीतेंगे जरूर बिकॉज इंडिया लीग पेजेस और ऑल्सो सेमीफाइनल में अभी तक कोई भी मैचेस नहीं हारा है नॉट ओनली नहीं हारा है डोमिनेट करके जीता है इंडिया अच्छा खेलेगा यार रोहित भी ब्रिलियंट कैप्टेंसी कर रहे हैं Lekin Nakhwani also brings you a chopal with the locals of Mohammad Shami's native village in Amroha. This, remember, is also the location uh, which has a proposal of a mini stadium, and the people in this chopal that you will see are all happy with the decision taken by the UP government. They are eager for the World Cup finals as well. Listen in. We are currently in conversation with the people of the native village of Muhammad Shami who has been taking back to back wickets for team India let's take a view of these people uh, aaj uh, yahan pe aap log sab log ikhatta hain match world cup ka final hone wala hai jankari ke anusar ek ek uh, land ka proposal diya gaya hai jisko mini stadium mein banaya jayega kis tarike se is faisle ko aap dekhte hain UP sarkar ke UP sarkar ke faisle ko is tarike se dekhte hain bahut achhi baat hai unhone mini stadium ki order diya hai और ये बहुत खुशी की बात है गांव वालों के लिए और सिमी भाई की बदौलत हमें ये स्टेडियम मिला है और हमारी टीम जो है हम ये चाह रहे हैं कि फाइनल भी हमारी टीम लावे और पूरी टीम हमारी बढ़िया खेले इंशाल्लाह इंशाल्लाह फाइनल में क्या उम्मीद है क्योंकि मोहम्मद शमी भाई साहब क्या मतलब आप लोगों ने क्या लड़का दे दिया टीम इंडिया को यार ऐसा कोई खेलता है क्या मतलब सबको डरा के बैठे हैं बिल्कुल घायल से रहता घायल से का हमला क्या होता है तो आप जानते हैं घायल शेर क्यों कह रहे हैं घायल शेर घायल शेर तो हमने देखा आपके हमसे क्या के बारे में आपको मालूम है घायल शेर का हमला तो हमला ही होता है आपके इंशाल्लाह अल्लाह ने चाहा तो साथ लिए हमें उम्मीद पूरी है कि आठ लेंगे और फाइनल फाइनल को जिता के हिंदुस्तान का नाम पूरी दुनिया में हमारा चमकाएगा मोहम्मद शामी पाशा ठीक है मोहम्मद शामी पाशा ये कह रहे हैं की आठ विकेट लेंगे कितना अनुमान आप लोग लगा रहे हैं क्यूँकी आप लोग के बीच में वो पले भड़े हैं सर so, जैसे हम देख सकते हैं पिछला परफॉर्मेंस देख के इसके हम यही चाहते हैं कि जो फाइनल है वो फाइनल में भी अच्छा मतलब परफॉर्मेंस करें अब भी हम चाहते हैं जैसे साथ लिए तो हम सोचेंगे ज्यादा से ज्यादा विकेट लें इस बार भी अच्छा जी ठीक है अच्छा आप लोग आप लोग क्योंकि युवा हैं अब जैसा कहा जा रहा है यहाँ पे मिनी स्टेडियम बना दिया जाएगा जब शमी खेलते हैं क्या भाव निकल के आता है क्योंकि यार आप लोग के बीच से ही निकले हैं वो लोग पहले तो यूपी सरकार को धन्यवाद है क्योंकि उन्होंने इतना अच्छा कदम लिया है यूथ के लिए जो हमारे आसपास के क्षेत्र के बच्चे खेलते हैं उनको एक मौका मिलेगा और मोहम्मद शमी के लिए यही कहेंगे कि बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस दिया लास्ट में फाइनल हम लेकर आएंगे इंडिया और कल का मैच अच्छा होगा और अच्छे विकेट लेगा कल का मैच अच्छा होगा एंड ही इज गोइंग टू टेक येट अगेन इनफेक्ट ही इज गोइंग टू ब्रेक अनदर रिकॉर्ड इज वॉट दिस लोकल सर्विंग